days that we've just had for a glass of beer. Yes, or two or three. Uh, so or five. I don't know what your plans are this weekend, but uh, I know what mine are. I know. Um, it's going to be pretty nice, you guys. Cooling down. It's been a hot couple of days. You know what I'm saying. I mean, just two days ago, we were up to 92 degrees. Uh, today, we were a little bit cooler, so baby steps here as we get to more fall-like weather. Right now, your temperature at PDX, 64 degrees, dew point 51. Wind still pretty light out of the north northwest at about six miles per hour. Sunrise time tomorrow morning, 638 tomorrow afternoon. We'll get up to a high of 80 degrees. Again, only a slight change compared to what we had today. Today we got up to 87. Tomorrow, 80. Mostly sunny and then mostly cloudy later on in the afternoon. Later tomorrow night, a chance for some light rain. Wind speed is for the most part pretty calm. Uh, we're not seeing any big wind gusts coming through. Corvallis would be the most consistent with that northwest wind at about 14 miles per hour, but you can see right around Portland and over to Hood River, everything's feeling pretty light and easy. We'll see winds pick up though over the weekend. Morning lows tomorrow, waking up to 53 in Hillsboro, 58 in Vancouver, 61 in the Dalles, Salem 56 and 52 for you in Newport. So smoke forecast, what are we seeing here? Well, this model is showing us where the smoke is going, where it's coming from, and you can see all these wildfires lining up in Northern California. Oregon has seven major wildfires burning right now, 12 in Washington, and over 400 still burning in British Columbia. So depending on where your wind's coming from, and in this case, most of our wind, especially where winds aloft from 6,000 feet up, have been mostly coming from the southwest dragging all that wildfire smoke right into our neighborhoods. Earlier today, our air quality at one point was unhealthy for sensitive groups. Now it's in the good category right around PDX. All the way through the weekend, we'll see some pretty strong winds coming through. Mostly onshore flow from the west southwest really kicking up as we get to uh, Sunday and Monday with an approaching neck system to bring us some rain. So what are we talking about as we head into the weekend? Well, first we were focusing on what's going to happen uh, tomorrow night through Saturday morning. If you're going to be, let's say, Tillamook up through Cannon Beach tomorrow morning, uh, this is what you need to know. The best chance to see some showers, if that's what you're looking for, will be right around 8, 9 o'clock in the evening tomorrow, lasting through about 10, 11 o'clock Saturday morning. Now for Portland, very minimal. Next round of rain, more promising. Monday morning all the way through Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Rainfall totals for Portland could range anywhere from 3 tenths of an inch to as much as a half inch over several days. Meanwhile, in Seattle, they'll be basking in the one and a half, possibly one and a quarter inches of rain. Ooh. They'll certainly see the bulk of it. Uh, so if you want to get away from the rain, you need to go to the southern end of the state. If you want more rain, you got to go into Washington. Makes sense, right? Much cooler temperatures next week. So yeah. low 70s and upper 60s. That looks like we're really heading into fall next yes. week. Sure does. Boy, that time of year. <laughs> Thanks, Natasha. Sure. Still ahead, the Hillsboro Hops.